<coughs> Good morning, all of you. Today, let us discuss the basic issues in economic development and growth. This is a first unit. In this class, we are going to study about some basic idea about what is economic growth, what is economic development, what are all the basic issues involved in economic growth, basic issues in economic development, and we will sum up and what are the keywords that we are having in this particular unit and uh, what is the possible question in your semester and examination. The purpose of this particular unit is to understand the basic issues of economic development and economic growth. Let us start with the economic growth. In this particular term, there are two words, growth and development where we often use interchangeably for our economic discussion. Because in a layman definition, uh, people think development and growth are same. As soon as uh, uh, development economics is emerged in the distinct field of study after the Second World War, it had been appearance for foster a child of a growth. That is, the economic development is a subject, is a head of the economic growth. But uh, technically speaking, they are not the same. Why? Because development is the, uh, it is a process. Growth is a destination. In a layman uh, definition, these two terms appear synonymous. However, in 1950s and 60s, the economists drew a, a line of uh, demarcation between the economic growth and economic development. This particular concept of economic development is broader than economic growth because a lot of policies and other uh, implementation part is taking in this economic development only, but the destination is economic growth. The development is taken is to mean uh, growth plus change. In the growth, when you make some changes, then we have to say it is a development. In the other say, in the other side, we can say whereas the economic growth means growth only quantitative expansion of the economy. Economic growth thus a quantitative concept, while economic development is a qualitative concept. Keep it in mind. Economic growth is quantitative. Economic development is qualitative. The economic growth can be defined in many ways. In a positive term, we say it is a measurement to uh, how much increase in a real or uh, national or per capita income of the nation over the period of time. Economic growth is usually measured in terms of increasing the real GDP and GNP, gross domestic product and gross national product uh, over the time, uh, how much it has get changed, or uh, an increase in income per head, that is per capita income, used to say. Either we have to uh, calculate uh, GDP or GNP, or in terms of per capita income also, we can say what is the economic growth. Growth is uh, uh, desirable as it enables the society to consume more goods and services. Why? Because as a developing country like India, we have more population. The economic growth indicates how much we are producing in terms of agriculture or industry, a service, which will be. That is why growth is considered to be the basis for advancing the real living standard or the human welfare. At the same time, it is also true that growth does not necessarily lead to an increase in the human welfare. We may say increase the GDP, we may increase the GNP, but it doesn't mean that it, our standard of living is increased. So there are some other uh, economic indicators which will uh, influence the human welfare. This is a basic idea about the economic growth. Now let's have some idea about the economic development. The economic development involves something more than the economic growth. In fact, there are certain qualitative dimension in the process of development that are 
can't uh, what to say it's cash peers uh, some uh, confusion is always there because in the absence of growth and expansion in the economy it is meaningless to speak about the economic development this economic development implies uh, both uh, not only the output but also changes in an institution way that is portfolio management or we have to improve technically and uh, that particular production should reach the consumption and production should have uh, it should reach both ends as to meet then only the development is possible development uh, concerns not only the man's material needs but also the improvement in the social condition of his life development is therefore uh, not only the economic growth but also the economic growth plus changes in social cultural and institutional as well as the economic changes should happen then then only we can say it is a development that is why uh, when we compare uh, two terms development and growth development has a wide scope why because development is just not purely the economic phenomenon uh, it has to be conceived with a multi dimensional process naturally uh, the economic development is a value based concept it should not include uh, the acceleration of the economic growth but also the reduction of inequality and it should eradicate the poverty we have to generate more employment opportunities and uh, the welfare measures uh, to the mass people that is not for a particular institution or a particular person it should for the public however the economic development may mean uh, this particular thing how the human development is taken place from one period to the other so these are the two basic term we should keep in mind that one is the economic growth and other one is the economic development after knowing this only it is possible to understand the concept involved in the indian economy so let, let us see what are the some uh, basic elements in economic growth first the economic growth is associated with the increase in gdp and gnp or uh, per capita but per head gdp does not uh, by itself constitute or a measure the welfare or the success of the development this is because the per capita income does not give any information about the income distribution it is observed that despite of high rate of growth some of the countries experience a very uh, high incidence of poverty and unemployment this is a very first issue that we should know about the economic growth the second issue is the economic growth does not talk about the quality of life in poor developing countries people uh, cannot make both ends to meet very low level of literacy low standard of health and of course the nutrition so misery is arising from lack of food and shelter Uh, do not get reflected in the concept of economic growth we may say this much growth we have 8% 8.1% gdp all these things is there but whether it gives information about all the citizen of that particular country is having a, a, enough food and shelter that's a because because economic growth will not give that particular information and uh, thirdly the economic growth does not deal with the uh, environmental issues in the process of achieving a higher economic growth the environmental consideration like a depletion of renewable natural resources air pollution etc all these things are given little weightage these aspects have an important bearing on the economic development of the country in the long run suppose if you ignore the concept environmental definitely it will deteriorate the Uh, life expectancy of the human being that improvement is not desirable desire for higher and higher economic growth is associated with the environmental damage that we should keep in mind it is the economic development that cause 
for the environmental issues that is why when we compare the issues uh, with the economic growth and the economic development we prefer economic development only not the growth why because when we are uh, try to achieve uh, a particular target of economic growth definitely it uh, affects the nature especially the environment all four pollution will be keep on increasing and uh, there is a deterioration in our <coughs> life that's why uh, one of the economists called kindleberger he says the growth involves focusing on height or weight while development focus on change in the functional capacity it talks about the health so that is why the priority is more for economic development rather than economic growth now let us move to uh, basic issues involved in the economic development what we uh, listed so far is for economic growth now let us have some basic idea about the economic development the nobel laureate amrita sen has defined uh, this particular term economic development like uh, entitlement or uh, capability entitlement refers to a set of alternative commodities bundles that an individual can command through the totality of uh, rights and obligation that he or she faces uh, according to him the economic development can be defined as a sustained improvement in material well being of society very clear words a sustained improvement in material well being of society the economic development is a wider concept than economic growth because apart from the growth of national income it includes changes in social cultural political as well as the economic changes which contribute to material progress it contains the changes in resources supplies in the rate of capital formation or uh, the size or the composition of a population of course in technology uh, skill and uh, productive uh, productivity industrial efficiency and all these things are involved in the economic development when you consider these changes uh, it's very difficult to fulfill the wider objective ensuring that it's a equitable uh, income distribution it's not possible because we are, we are having 1.2 billion crores of people how we can distribute that income equally there is a wide variation so in order to reduce this inequality of income distribution we have to take the developmental activities uh we have to try to concentrate more employment opportunity and we have to concentrate on poverty alleviation like that so these are the objective uh, which involved in economic development in short i can say the economic development is a process of uh, consisting a, a long chain of interrelated changes in the fundamental factors of supply and in the structure of demand these two will lead a rise at net national product of the country in the long run so while comparing the economic growth and economic development the economic growth is uh, have a limited scope but we have to give more priority for economic development as it concentrate not only the demand side but also the supply side in simple words we may say the economic growth is a narrative it involved increase in output and quantitative terms but economic development includes the changes in the qualitative terms such as the social attitude uh, and customs along with the quantitative growth of the sorry qualitative growth of the output or a national income we can sum up this particular unit with uh, these points we are taking away from this particular class first we know what is the meaning of economic growth and economic development because if we are uh, able to say what we mean by economic growth and what we mean by economic development and next to that we studied what are all the uh, basic issues involved uh, in economic growth as well as in the economic development and we have listed out what are the features of economic growth so in this unit uh, um, key words that we should remember is 
GDP, GNP per capita income as well as economic growth is concerned. GDP means gross domestic product. GNP is gross national product and per capita income, income per particular citizen. And uh, in case of economic development, what we have to uh, the unemployment, inflation, and uh, how the macro variables are interrelated. So these are the things that we should uh, keep in mind after completing this particular unit. Uh, in examination point of view, in section A, either they will ask define economic growth or they may ask define economic development. This is a one possible question in section A. And in section B, there are three possible questions. One is what are the basic issues involved in economic growth? Uh, in the Indian context, they may ask. And uh, one more question is possible is, what are the fundamental issues in the economic development? They may ask you to compare the economic growth and economic development. At least you should write any three points. And especially we, we should keep in mind that economic growth is a lesser uh, scope. Economic development is having wider scope. And... Uh, Frequently asking question is, what are the features of economic growth? But in this particular unit, there are two possible section C questions. One is uh, explain about economic growth or you can, uh, you may be asked to uh, explain Indian economic development. So these are the possible uh, question expected in the semester examination. With this, I am completing this class. Uh, we will meet in the next class. Thank you. Thank you very much.